Hello, in this lecture we're going to talk about the cash method versus the accrual method. In reality, the cash method and the accrual method are not in an epic battle, but when presenting this information I find that many people think of it in that format, meaning people think of the cash method as being completely distinct from the accrual method, and in reality the line between the cash method and the accrual method might not be quite as distinct. So let's go through what the differences are. What we're talking about here is when should we recognize revenue, and when should we recognize expenses? These are the income statement accounts. These are the timing accounts. Therefore, the difference between these two methods is just a timing difference. What we need to understand is that revenue is not equivalent to cash. The revenue is the act of us earning. The cash is one form of payment. We could have other form of payments, but cash is the main form of payment. Even if we think under a cash method, we don't want to equivalent revenue and cash. We are recognizing under a cash method revenue when cash is received. However, we're using, revenue, we're using cash as a sort of indication of the actual point in time that revenue has been received. For example, it's similar to us being a firefighter and we're trying to find a particular fire so we can put it out. We can use our GPS system and actually pinpoint the fire. That would be the accrual method. Or we can look in, up in the sky and see the smoke and say that's going to be close enough to get us to the fire that's basically going to be the cash method. The time that we get the cash close enough to the point in time to be accurate enough. And under the expense side, same type of thing. Expenses, things like the utilities, things like meals and entertainment, wages expenses, that's not the same thing as cash. We're gonna pay it with cash eventually, but the point in time that we consume those expenses is really when the expense happens. Under an accrual method, we want to look for that point in time specifically, be more specific as to what that point in time is. Under a cash method, what we're going to do is say the smoke is close enough to the fire. When the cash happens, that's, most, that's close enough for us to record the expense at that point in time. You can see that's the major pros and cons between the two methods. There's going to be some other pros and cons, but the cash method is usually going to be a bit faster. It's, it's easier for us to track the cash and use cash as sort of that indication the accrual method is thought to be a lot more accurate because it actually pinpoints the point in time that revenue is uh, earned and the point in time that expenses were incurred. Let's look at some examples. First example, we have an example where the two methods will record the same transaction, then we'll move to some methods that will be distinct. The thing that's important here is that looking at this transaction without knowing anything else about why the transaction is being recorded, we would not be able to understand or know whether we're on a cash method or accrual method. Let's see why. We have two companies. Owner A owner owns a pizza place and owner B is purchasing a pizza. The pizza is being provided at the same point in time that cash is being received. How would owner A then record this transaction? Under a cash method, we would say that cash has been received and income is going up. So cash is going up, income is going up. Why are we recording income? because the cash is close enough to the fire, the smoke is close enough to the fire to record it at that point in time, therefore we will. Under an accrual method, we're gonna have the same entry. Cash is still going up, and we're still gonna record the income, but why are we recording the income at this point in time? Because of our GPS system actually pinpointed the time that we earned the money, because that's when we made the pizza and delivered it. In terms of company B, we're gonna say, all right, company B, under a cash method, cash is going down, and we're gonna record the expense at that point in time in a cash method, why? Because the smoke is close enough to the fire, we spent the cash, and that means that we're gonna record the expense at that point in time. Under the accrual method, we still have cash going down, we still have expenses going up, but the reason the expenses are going up in this point is because we're pinpointing the actual fire, meaning we, we know we actually consumed the pizza at this point in time, and that's when we should record the expense under an accrual method. Now let's think of a, of a point of a situation in which the time that we have the exchange of cash is different than the time that the work happens. That will make the differences between these methods greater. So we can think of an idea where we have a lawyer, owner A is a lawyer, and we have owner B that needs legal services in this case. We can think of a situation, what if owner A says, yeah, I'll give you legal services, but I need the payment up front and I will provide you legal services in the future. So we see now that cash has been changed in hands for the work, but the work has not been done. All that we have is a promise to do work in the future. So what would owner A do under a cash method? Well, 
cash is going up there's that is what it is cash is what it is they don't cash does not change between the two methods but income is also going up why because the cash is close enough to the fire we didn't do the work yet we we're not at the actual location but it's close enough to get us there in terms of the accrual method we're going to say cash is going up but we're not going to record income we want to be more specific we're saying you know what haven't earned the income we're going to earn the income in the future what we have right now is a liability meaning we actually owe the work in the future or we owe the money back so you can see that the accrual method is actually a bit more accurate the cash method takes a bit less time to record because we're just going to record it at the point in time that cash has been exchanged under b here b is going to say cash is going down we paid cash and under a cash method we're going to say the expenses are going up why because the cash is close enough to the fire. The smoke is close enough to the fire. Cash has gone out. We haven't gotten any legal services yet. We haven't consumed anything yet, but it's close enough to record it now. If we look at the accrual method, we're going to say that cash is still going down, but we're not going to record the expense. We're going to say we have a prepaid asset, meaning the lawyer over there owes us something, owes us work that we expect to have in the future. If they don't pay us that work in service, they owe us our money back, and therefore we're going to record the asset until we get that money back again the accrual method being a bit more accurate trying to pinpoint the actual point in time when the expense happened the cash method being a bit less time consuming a bit less work to record we can think of another transaction we're going to say that company a is the owner of the legal services actually provided the legal services in this case and billed the client and owner b the owner of company b consumed the legal services but haven't yet paid for. They gave an IOU. What happens in that case? Owner A, we're going to say cash method, no entry. Why not? No cash has been received. Under an accrual method, what we're going to say is we have an asset of accounts receivable, an IOU from owner A, and we're going to record the income. Why? Because the actual destination, the actual fire has been pinpointed. We earned the revenue at that point in time, and we do have an asset. We have an IOU we expect to be paid in the future. If we look at, at owner B, company B, we have cash method, no entry. And in terms of the accrual method, we're going to say that we have a liability and we have an expense. Why? Because we're saying we've consumed the legal services at this point in time. Just like if we used our credit card to purchase something, we should record the fact that we have a liability related to the consumption of those services at this point in time, even though the cash hasn't been spent yet. Note that there's another advantage to the accrual method in this case, and that is the fact that we have an accounts receivable account and an accounts payable account. Those two accounts track who owes us money, who we owe money to, which is important. <laughs>